And now we've come to the depth of the meaning of Jesus' resurrection. It all boils down to forgiveness, forgiveness for all manner of sin. For he paid the price, and justice now demands that mercy be applied. Earlier in the program, we read the first part of Psalm 22 when Jesus was hanging on the cross. Well, let's finish that psalm now, starting with verses 25 to going through 31. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will pay before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of nations shall worship before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. To him indeed shall all who sleep in the earth bow down. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust, and I shall live for him. Posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told all about the Lord and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn, saying that he has done it. We now move to the book of Hebrews for a look at the meaning of this resurrection. For Christ did not enter a sanctuary made by human hands, a mere copy of the true one, but he entered into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Nor was it to offer himself again and again, as the high priest entered the holy place year after year, with the blood that was not his own. For then he would have had to suffer again and again since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once for all at the end of the age to remove sin by the sacrifice of himself. And just as it is appointed for mortals to die once, and after that the judgment, so Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. There are many, many scriptures that talk about a kingdom on the earth and talk about the results of this incredible sacrifice of Jesus. And one of the simplest is one that we're all familiar with, part of the Lord's Prayer in Matthew 6. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so on earth. Now think about that. Jesus tells us, instructs us how to pray. And he says, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so on earth. He's telling us about prophecy that's going to be coming true after he gives his life as that sacrifice, after he fulfills the promise, after he pays the ransom for all mankind that was testified uh, in, in his life. That is something that we can all look at with great honor. And all we can do is say, glory to God.
This is Rick and Vicki on WXLM 104.7. We hope you are enjoying our resurrection story through scripture, reading, and song. And we'll be back in a moment to continue. 